What is up, you guys? I wanted to come to you guys with my SmackDown Live review tonight, so let's get right into it. To kick off the show, we had uh, the goddess Alexa Bliss versus Mandy Rose. This was a decent, uh, pretty to okay match between Alexa Bliss and Mandy Rose tonight on SmackDown Live. This match with this match between the goddess Alexa Bliss and Mandy Rose was pretty decent for what it was. I mean, it wasn't that great of a match. It wasn't the best match I've seen between these two. Yeah, great wrestling. I mean, it was great wrestling for what it was. Both women did okay in the ring. It was kind of a sloppy match. It didn't really, it didn't really, it didn't, those two don't really gel well together inside of the ring. They look like they really don't know each other that well inside of the ring, so... It was, a, it was a decent match for really what it was. Um, um, Mandy Rose ended up tearing out the eyelashes of Alexa Bliss during the match. Something I don't care nothing about. Another McMahon, another Vince McMahon, uh, you know, he thinks that, you think something like this is humorous. So, another humorous thing by Vince during this match, I don't care. Um, but the, uh, this match between the goddess Alexa Bliss and Mandy Rose was okay. It wasn't the greatest match between the two women. It wasn't the best match I've seen. It was semi to okay. And I, I will give it a, I will give this match about a four, four out of ten. It was a, it was a decent match between the goddess Alexa Bliss and Mandy Rose tonight on SmackDown Live. The match was semi to decent. It wasn't that great of a match. I mean, it, it could have been better in my opinion. The match could have went longer than what it did. I mean, these women didn't really get no time to work this match. And they really they looked really sloppy. And they looked like they, they didn't know how to gel inside of the ring together. And Alexa Bliss ended up picking up the win over, the, over, Man, the, uh, over Mandy Rose tonight on SmackDown Live. Like I said, this was a semi to okay match between the goddess Alexa Bliss and Mandy Rose for SmackDown Live. This match was okay. It wasn't that great. It was decent. And the goddess Alexa Bliss ends up picking up the win over Mandy Rose tonight on SmackDown Live in a pretty decent to semi okay match. These women need more time to gel inside of the ring together. They need more time to you know, to get to know it to get to know each other inside of the ring because they haven't really worked a match together and this match looked really sloppy. It was really slow. They worked a really slow match. It wasn't a it wasn't a fast paced match. It was a really slow methodical match with the with Alexa Bliss and Mandy Rose tonight on SmackDown Live. And Alexa Bliss ended up picking up the win over Mandy Rose tonight on SmackDown Live and a really decent to semi to okay match. These women could put on a better match if I think they were given the allowed time to do so. But if they don't get the allowed time to work together, I don't think it's gonna I don't think they're gonna have that good of a match. But this was an okay match for what it was tonight between the goddess Alexa Bliss and Mandy Rose tonight to kick off SmackDown Live. This was an okay match, and Alexa, the goddess Alexa Bliss ended up picking up the win over Mandy Rose tonight on SmackDown Live. And then we got a backstage segment with Dana Brooke, Drake Maverick, and Elias. Don't care. Um, that um, Elias is making fun of Drake Maverick again. Dana Brooke ends up rejecting Drake Maverick again. I don't care. Um, Dana Brooke is getting more TV time. I guess that's cool in a way. I don't really care about Dana Brooke. I really don't care, but Dana Brooke is getting a lot of TV time on WWE, so I guess that's cool for her. Good for her in a way. And then we have Elias taking out Drake Maverick. Elias is Drake Maverick with the drift away. They're, they get into a brawl. Drake, Ma uh, Drake Maverick gets hit with a drift away. Uh, Elias... That's how that ended up ending uh, tonight on SmackDown Live. That's how that ended. They was in a backstage segment back in catering with uh, Drake Maverick, Dana Brooke, and Elias. And then Elias ended up hitting Maverick with a drift away to end that to end that kind of segment. So I don't really. It looks like Elias is gonna be. It uh, looks like Elias 
is going to be feuding with Drake Maverick. I don't really care. So it looks like... It looks like Drake Maverick will be feuding with um, Elias, so looks like that's going to be happening. Um, and then we had a Fatal 4-Way. We had a Fatal 4-Way match with a number one contendership for the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships. Tonight on SmackDown Live with Heavy Machinery versus Mustafa Ali and Shorty G versus the Lucha House Party. And, um, and, uh, and the Revival. This was a okay to semi-decent for Fatal 4-Way uh, tag team match for the number one contendership for the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships tonight on SmackDown Live. It was an okay to pretty, co pretty good Fatal 4-Way match. Um, you know, Heavy Machinery ended up, uh, end up uh, heavy, machine heavy Machinery ended up eliminating the Lucha House Party. Um, the Revival ended up eliminating, uh, um, Heavy Machinery, and then it came down to the, to the Revival versus Mustafa Ali and Shorty G, and, um, and the Revival ended up beating Mustafa Ali and Shorty G tonight on SmackDown Live to become the new number one contenders for the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships, and the, and the Revival will face the New Day at TLC for the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships one week from this Sunday. So it will be the revival versus the new versus the new day at TLC for the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships. But the fatal four way match between the between Heavy Machinery, Mustafa Ali and Shorty G versus the Lucha House Party versus the Revival tonight on SmackDown Live for the number one contenderships. For the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships. It was a pretty good match for what it was. It was pretty decent. I enjoyed it for what it was. It was a good match. It was a semi to okay good match. Uh, these men did a great job tonight. It was great high spots in the match. I mean, all men in this match looked good in this match. Worked a great match tonight. Um, and like I said... The Revival ended up beating uh, Mustafa Ali and Shorty G to pick up the win. And the Revival are the new number one contenders for the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships once again. And the Revival will end up facing the New Day at TLC for the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships one week from Sunday. So the Revival ends up beating, the Revival are going to be the new number one contenders for the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships, and they will face the New Day at TLC for the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships one week from this Sunday. And then we have Sasha Banks. We have Sasha Banks confronting Dana Brooke. Uh, Dana Brooke goes for the women's rights. Sasha Banks just looks like fell down, just completely fell down in this segment. I don't know what they're doing with Sasha Banks at this point. It looks like Sasha Banks is going to be feuding with Lacey Evans, which I don't get why that's happening. But anyway, I guess Vince McMahon is putting Sasha Banks into a feud with Lacey Evans at this point. I don't really get it. And then we and then uh, Bray Wyatt ends up attacking The Miz backstage. And um, that's pretty much how that went. The Miz ended up getting attacked by Bray Wyatt backstage. So it looks like uh, the Miz will be facing Bray Wyatt at TLC for the um, Universal Championship. I guess I guess that's happening. And then we had a and then we had a um, we had a thing we had a uh, backstage segment with Bray Wyatt that was pretty cool. I guess in a way, uh, Bray Wyatt is talking about Daniel Bryan and what happened to Daniel Bryan last Friday on SmackDown Live during this back, backstage segment. And then The Miz uh, tries to make the save of Daniel Bryan during during Friday Night SmackDown tonight, and The Miz ends up getting attacked by Bray Wyatt. So it looks like they're setting up The Miz to face Bray Wyatt at TLC for the Universal Championship. It looks like that's, that's going to be happening as well. And, um, and then we had... And then we had Dolph Ziggler versus Roman Reigns to, in the main event. 
Roman Reigns picks up the win over Dolph Ziggler in the main event of SmackDown Live tonight in a pretty decent match. It was okay. It wasn't that great. It wasn't that good. It was okay. Uh, Roman Reigns ended up beating Dolph Ziggler in the main event of SmackDown Live tonight. Um, and then Roman Reigns gets handcuffed to the ring post. And Dolph Ziggler and King Corbin ended up um, putting dog food on Roman, they end up smearing dog food on Roman Reigns all over his face, all over his vest or whatever, I don't care, I mean, they ended up putting dog food all over Roman's vest and his face, his hair, don't care, I mean, so, it is what it is, they take out, they, uh, so Ziggler and Corbin take out Roman Reigns, they, they start battering him with dog food at the end, that's how Smackdown Live went off the air with Ziggler and Corbin, uh, battering Roman Reigns with dog food. Another humorous. This is another humorous thing for Vince. I guess Vince is laughing at that. I guess. I don't know. But. The best thing about tonight. For Smackdown Live. Was Bray Wyatt. And um, and Alexa Bliss. They were the best two things tonight. For uh, Smackdown Live tonight. If you if if there's one thing if there's one thing I would suggest you guys go back and watch tonight, go back and watch the promo with Bray Wyatt and him talking about what happened to Daniel Bryan last Friday on SmackDown Live. Go back and watch that. That's about the only interesting thing that happened tonight on SmackDown Live. Um, the Fatal Four Way is okay if you want to go check that out with Heavy Machinery versus Mustafa Ali and Shorty G versus The Revival for the number one contenderships tonight on SmackDown Live for the number one contenderships for the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships tonight on SmackDown Live. If you guys, if you guys want to go back, check that out. Uh, you guys can go back, check that out. It was, a, it was pretty decent. It was okay. Um, like I said, Mandy Rose ended up beating Alexa Bliss. It looks like Alexa Bliss and Mandy Rose are going to be in the feud for whatever reason. I don't know. So, anyway, guys, um, tell me what you guys thought about SmackDown Live tonight down in the comment section below this video. What did you guys think about SmackDown Live tonight? Give me your thoughts about SmackDown Live tonight. So, I'm going to go 2 out of 10 for SmackDown Live tonight with Bray Wyatt and Alexa Bliss. They were my two favorite things tonight on uh, SmackDown Live. So, my two favorite things tonight on SmackDown Live were Alexa Bliss and uh, Bray Wyatt, and that was it. Um, so, yeah, guys, if you guys like this SmackDown Live review, hit that thumbs up. And uh, I want to say thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. And uh, uh, during the uh, Sasha Banks and Lacey Evans segment, Lacey, e uh, Lacey Evans is going up the ramp, and Bailey and Sasha ended up taking out uh, Lacey Evans. So that's how that ended right there. So it looks like we're going to be getting Sasha Banks versus Lacey Evans, The Miz versus um, Bray Wyatt for the Universal Championship. It looks like we're, we're going to be getting The Revival versus The New Day at TLC for the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships. And it looks like we're going to be getting Alexa Bliss versus Mandy Rose at TLC. And it looks like we're going to be getting Sasha Banks and Lacey Evans at TLC. So it looks like that's what's going to be happening. So I if you guys, uh, um, I just want to let you guys know that as well. So if you guys like this SmackDown, if you guys like this SmackDown review, hit that thumbs up. If you guys like my channel, comment, like, subscribe. I'd appreciate that. And I just want to say thanks for watching this SmackDown live review. I appreciate it. I love you guys. You guys have a great Friday night. I'll talk to you guys probably tomorrow. And I love you guys. You guys have a blessed night. I love you guys. And remember, guys, always remember to forgive and always be yourself, guys. So anyway, thank you guys for watching this SmackDown Live review. I really do appreciate it. And you guys have a very, very blessed night. I love you guys. Take care. You guys have a good night. Peace, guys.